Now, in other top news, the commander of U.S. military forces in Africa testified before the U.S. Congress Thursday on supporting French efforts to fight terrorism in the Sahel amid reports that the White House is considering withdrawing troops from the region. U.S. Africa Command General Stephen Townsend told lawmakers that American forces in Africa are critical to maintaining Washington's ability to fight across the globe. Africa overwatches a global crossroads with strategic choke points and sea lines of communication that are essential to global commerce and critical to U.S. operations in the world. Our future security, prosperity, and, and prosperity rest on strate this strategic access in times of crisis and ensuring these waters remain free, open, and secure. French troops are the largest foreign force contributing to the fight against Islamic militants in the Sahel. Senator Jack Reed asked General Townsend how a potential reduction in U.S. forces might affect those efforts. If we drew down, what signal would that send and what practical consequences might that have for their cooperation in the fight? Senator Reid, uh, so as you pointed out, the French are the lead international partner in the Sahel region of West Africa. Uh, they have about 4,500 troops there that are engaged in active operations every day to counter the uh, threat that's there. Uh, the threat that f comes from both al-Qaeda groups and ISIS groups there. Uh, that threat is very serious, and that threat is on the advance. And I think the French would say, in fact, they have said publicly recently that uh, their efforts are not having the, the uh, desired effect that they need. We are supporting both the French and the uh, larger international effort there. There's a significant European effort there. Um, um, our position, the, the position of the Department of Defense is that uh, the Europeans need to step up and do more in the, in the Sahel to help the French. The French are calling on Europe to step up and do more. I absolutely think that is the right thing to do. And as, but as the, we see the uh, violent extremists advancing, if we, were, if we were to withdraw support from the French uh, precipitously, uh, then that, that would uh, not go in a good direction. So General Townsend said counterterrorism operations in Africa are a cost-effective contribution to U.S. national security. The violent extremist organizations that are on yeah. the continent, both Ooh. in the East and in the West, um, some of those groups uh, threaten uh, the American homeland today. Uh, some of them will potentially be a threat in the future, t yeah. future years. U.S. lawmakers asked General Townsend about this month's successful Al-Shabaab attack on the new Kenyan airbase in Manda Bay. I think it's self-obvious we were not as prepared there at Manda Bay as we needed to be. Uh, Al-Shabaab managed to uh, penetrate uh, onto that airfield. Um, a lot of people don't know, but the base where our troops live uh, is not where the airfield is. But they were able to uh, get access to that airfield, uh, kill three Americans, uh, and uh, destroy six aircraft there. So we weren't as prepared, uh, and we're digging into that to find out uh, why that's the case. Uh, but uh, in, since that event, uh, we have, there's about 120 infantrymen there on the ground now. Uh, who are securing that place, and they've been working hard since 6 January uh, to uh, put in the appropriate level of defenses. So um, I'm confident that by the time they're done, uh, Manda Bay will be much more uh, properly defended. Uh, we're not just stopping there, though. We're looking across the continent uh, because I think that um, we viewed, and the Kenyans viewed, uh, Manda Bay as a safe area. Uh, the Kenyans have family housing there for their military. Uh, it's a resort area. So Al-Shabaab has shown their reach and their, the danger that they pose. Uh, and I think we need to take that seriously. And so I'm looking uh, with a, a clear eye at every location in Africa now. U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper says the administration of President Donald Trump will not totally withdraw forces from Africa, but adjusting troop levels may mean a greater emphasis on countering Russian and Chinese influence and less of a focus on countering terrorism.